All right, guys, so today we are going to be breaking down the contents of the latest data download that uh, just dropped on JP. Global will be getting the exact same one in probably like an hour from now. And uh, yeah, before we get into it, as always, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton at 10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the new stages for the fight battle for the strongest in the universe story event, stages 9 and 10, respectively. And then we also got new stages for the uh, Extreme Z area fight battle for the strongest in the universe, uh, stages 4, 5, 6, and 7. And uh, these are the maps, which look exactly the same. Now, one thing that kind of confuses... Oh, never mind. Okay, so I was going to say, why are there only four stages, right? But the fifth stage is right here. So these are the new Extreme Z area stages for the uh, five type specific metal coolers. And uh, I haven't seen any translations for their details yet, but I will bring those to you guys uh, very, very shortly. And from there, we have all of the Extreme Z Awakening Medals for each of the Metal Coolers, as you guys can see. Yep, all five are represented. And then we also have uh, two new stages for the Fighting Spear of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline event. Uh, stage five is, uh, I'm assuming, for the Core Cooler. And then stage six is for the Super Saiyan Goku. And we also have one more stage for the uh, Ultimate Red Zone Wicked Bloodline Edition versus Metal Cooler Core or Core Metal Cooler, whatever you want to call him, right there. And a new skill orb, which is Dodge and HP. And also some new tickets, which I'm assuming are maybe guaranteed SSR tickets for the Wicked Bloodline uh, Ultimate Red Zone. I'm not sure if that says Wicked Bloodline, but I'm assuming that's what it is. And we also have the new background for, or the unique background for the uh, Fighting Spirit uh, Wicked Bloodline title. I forgot what it's called. What's the event called again? Uh, <laughs> oh, Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline. There you go. So we have the unique title. There's the background for the title. And then we have uh, the assets for the STR Cooler Extreme Z Battle event. So there is the uh, events logo. Obviously, it's gonna be in English on the global side. And then we also have Cooler himself. We have the uh, banner for the event, along with some more various assets for the Extreme Z Battle event, as you guys can see right there. We have the Final Form Cooler, and also his Extreme Z Awakening medals, and uh, also, the new chain battle boss which is goku and vegeta we have a new wallpaper which will be given out for the um co-op campaign that's currently going on so everybody will be able to get this uh wallpaper um probably soon and we also have a new my data category banner for the titles associated with the oh i guess metal cooler extreme z battle event interesting i thought that was already in the game Anyways, uh, we have some new scripted assets. We got a couple of Super Saiyan Vegetas, got a couple of Super Saiyan Gokus, and we also, oh, that's that's interesting. I didn't notice Goku had no arms, or rather no, no hands uh, in these ones. That's kind of cool. And we also have a bunch of Metal Coolers as well. And that pretty much does it for the uh, assets from this data download. Once again, a massive, massive shout out to Proton10MG on Twitter for posting everything. Make sure to go follow him. And uh, real quick, before we go, I just want to reiterate for anybody that missed my video from yesterday covering the STR Coolers Extreme Z Awakening. Um, we're going to quickly go over his EZA details. So if you guys already know what he does, then feel free to click off the video. That is the data download. But if you don't know what Cooler does, and you want to find out, and trust me, you'll want to know, then make sure to keep watching. So here we go, we're going to pop over to the Dokkan Wiki. And uh, starting with the regular Cooler, before the Extreme Sea Awakening, Leader Skill was 
Terrifying Conquerors category, or rather, um, Terrifying Conquerors or Transformation Boost category Q plus 3, HP plus 130%, Attack and Defense plus 170%, Super Attack, Immense Damage, and Lowers Attack and Defense, and Passive, Attack and Defense plus 100%, Transformation Boost category Allies Q plus 2, and Attack and Defense plus 30% when facing only one enemy. Terrifying Conquerors category Allies Q plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 50% when facing two or more enemies. And uh, the transformation conditions where transforms can be activated when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy starting from the third turn from start of battle or when only facing one enemy starting from the sixth turn from start of battle once only. So the transformation condition, as far as, uh, as, far as I'm aware, doesn't change, but everything else changes, right? So new leader skill with the Extremes Awakening is now Terrifying Conquerors or Transformation Boost, E plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170%, super attack, this is huge, raises defense, can be stacked infinitely, causes immense damage and lowers attack and defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 130%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status, transformation boost category allies, E plus 2, an attack and defense plus 50% when facing only one enemy, and uh, Terrifying Conquerors, category allies, he plus 2, an attack and defense plus 50% when facing two or more enemies. So uh, major changes, more attack and defense, this additional super when, you're, uh, deep, or when the enemy is debuffed, which can be done by this unit because he does lower enemies attack and defense on a super attack, and also significantly better support for transformation boost from 30% to 50% attack and defense. And of course, because he stacks defense and because he can super multiple times in a turn, he will get tanky very, very quickly. So in medium to long events, he will be a very viable slot one unit, which is exactly what we wanted because he's such a good pairing for LR Final Form Cooler and he's gonna make LR Final Form Cooler even better now with the boosted support right so that's gonna be crazy and um oh yeah let's talk about the final form cooler so i'm not gonna go over his pre extreme z awakening details let's talk about just his extreme z awakening so super attack raises attack and causes immense damage and massively lowers defense and passive is q plus four attack and defense plus 200 percent launches two additional attacks each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack Chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% per rainbow key sphere obtained and performs a critical hit when there is a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy. And uh, for his stats, as you can see, these were the numbers before the Extreme Z Awakening at rainbow status and after the Extreme Z Awakening. Uh oh, they didn't list it. What? Usually they list the Extreme Z Awakening stats. Hold on. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and guess that it's gonna be somewhere in the range of like 19,000 to 20,000 HP. Um, close to 20,000, if not maybe more than 20,000 attack around that range, and also around like 12,000 defense. Um, these are not exact numbers because I'm guessing, but it's gonna be something like that. It's gonna be something like that, so. Uh, there you have it guys, that is the Extreme Z Awakening for the STR Cooler, that is the data download for JP currently, but once again, Global will be getting the exact same thing, so this applies to both sides of the game, and uh, I'll be making content for all of this new stuff, all the new stages, the Cooler Extreme Z Awakening showcase, all that stuff, so make sure to stay tuned to this channel. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.